Hi everyone, this is Teacher Jane of Teach Talk, where learning is fun and easy. If this is your first time watching our videos, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button so you'll get notified on our next videos. Welcome to Shensha Amazing! Kung saan pag-uusapan natin ang mga science concepts from grade 7 to grade 12, kasamang topics in general science, biology, chemistry, physics, and earth science. At dito, bidangagham! In our previous Shansha Amazing video, we talked about the mechanical phase of digestion. without being used up during the process. Sa picture na ito, makikita natin ang enzyme, which is yellow in color. The part of the enzyme kung saan nagbabind ang substrate ay tinatawag na active site. Habang ang substrate naman ay ang substance in which the chemical reaction takes place. Enzymes act on carbohydrates, fats, and proteins to convert them into simpler molecules which can be absorbed by our body. Enzymes which act on carbohydrates to convert them to simple sugars are called carbohydrates, while enzymes which act on fats to convert them into fatty acids and glycerol is called lipase. and have a breakdown into maltose sa mouth. That's why the pancreas produces a digestive juice which contains a starch digesting enzyme called pancreatic amylase or amylopsin. It is emptied into the small intestines and it converts starch which escape digestion in the mouth into maltose. There are numerous glands in our small intestine. Tumutulong sila sa pamamagitan ng pagsecrete ng digestive fluid at intestinal juice which contains several enzymes that help digest double sugars kagaya ng maltose. 
maltose is converted into glucose with the help of the enzyme maltase. Ang sucrose naman ay kinoconvert into glucose and fructose with the aid of sucrase. And lactose is converted into glucose and galactose with the help of lactase. These three, glucose, fructose, and lactose, are the simple sugars that can be used by our body. Now let's go to the chemical digestion of proteins. We can find a great number of glands in our stomach. These glands secrete a digestive fluid called gastric juice which contains two important substances. Ito ay ang pepsinogen at hydrochloric acid. Pepsinogen in the presence of hydrochloric acid is converted into the active form pepsin. This enzyme pepsin converts long proteins into short polypeptides which will now go to the small intestine in the small intestine through the very small structures called villus or villi. Absorption means that substances are taken in by the cells of our body
That ends your 3 minutes. Let's answer number 1. These are enzymes involved in the digestion of proteins. Ang clue, proteins. The answer is... Proteases. Number 2. It is present in our saliva and breaks down starch into maltose. Ang key phrase ay present in our saliva. This is salivary amylase or thialine. Number 3. A substance that emulsifies fat into tiny droplets. It just emulsifies fat. Hindi siya nagbe-break down kasi wala naman siyang enzyme. This is released by the liver and stored in the gallbladder. Yon, bile. Number 4. It is activated through the presence of hydrochloric acid in the gastric juice. Initially, it is inactive. But when hydrochloric acid is present, it becomes the active form of pepsinogen, which is pepsin. Last number, number 5. Enzymes involved in the digestion of carbohydrates. This is carbohydrates. That's the end of our quiz. Please comment your score over 5 in the comment section below. That ends our Shansh Amazing episode for today. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video to your friends so that we can learn together. Bye!